going on YouTube? Moose 78 back at you with some more American Truck Simulator. This, of course, is my Let's Play series, Stories from the Road. We do this every Tuesday and Thursday. Hope you're all having a fantastic day, by the way. Today, we are up here in Holbrook. We are going to run down with this uh, skateboard uh, lumber down to Yuma. So this should be a pretty good run, but let's see. I think we're going to take a different route than what they have plan for us. It'll let me do that. Now we're going to take 40, and then we're going to drop down here on 89, catch 10, and go down that way. Kind of mix it up a little bit. See how that goes for us. See, we are weighing in at... It's right in front of me. Right around just over 31,000 pounds, so not too bad. Should make for a pretty decent run. Of course, we are back in the W900 here. Go and get this thing fired up and hit the road. Track IR is good to go, so off we go to Yuma. Yeah, since I got the uh, Fontaine flatbed back back in game, I would sort of wanted to, wanted to start using that a little bit more, so. That looks like we got a couple cars coming this way. Good to go. I ran over the curve a little bit. That's okay. No harm, no foul. I got a little bit of an update on the SKRS shifter. Sounds like I should be getting that here within the next couple of weeks. Uh, they posted an update over on the site that they're not taking any more orders until after July 1st. That's so they can get all the pre-orders done, and they're also going to build up a little bit of stock as well. So that way, when you place your order, you, you'll be able to get it in a couple days. So that's good news. Said everything's going to be shipping by the end of June. So like I said, hopefully in the next couple weeks we'll be able to get that in, play around with that. From that, not a whole lot going on. Seeing the uh, Steam Summer Sale kicks off on June 23rd. So prepare your wallets, prepare your bodies. That's usually a pretty crazy part of the summer. I don't know that there's really anything that I'm looking forward to on the Summer Sale, though. I don't know.
Thanks for getting over, sir. Appreciate that. I'm going to keep an eye out also on the MHA Pro Map. Sounds like that is going to be done by the end of this week. So hopefully today or tomorrow, they get their latest version out for uh, ATS 1.3. Really looking forward to that. Uh, so they went back and fixed some stuff. So I don't know. I know in previous versions they hadn't fixed any of the on ramps or anything like that. So hopefully maybe they went back and did that. Don't know. Nonetheless, looking forward to getting that mod back in the game and seeing what they've done with Arizona. So we're good on fuel, so we shouldn't have to worry about that this trip. And this is just a standard run from the freight market, so we're not limited to any kind of speed. I'm going to set the cruise right there about 70, keep it a little bit safe. Get out here and see if we can't have us another good run. Yeah, the more I've been playing, I've gotten a lot better at uh, driving and stuff like that. So, I know a couple of you commented on that, so thank you. Appreciate that. How do you go back and watch some of the early episodes? And it's a little hairy from time to time. Look like a full fledged Swift recruit. But you live and learn. You live and learn. just came on there first. Yeah, it looks like they're good. Nothing coming, so... thing I finally started doing though was whenever I take a load I pretty much change the route almost every time now okay oh, whoa, what the what the franks and beans oh damn and what was that guy doing got on the interstate and just went right over in the left hand lane when that truck was coming over I had my turn signal on, I was going to be able to get in the left-hand lane and avoid that guy, but he's like, nope, I'm just going to hop over here in the left-hand lane and kill this guy in the pickup. Freaking GG, dude. I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like the AI has gotten a little bit more wonky since uh, the 1.3 update. I don't know. It could be one of the mods that I have installed, but I wouldn't think that it would be, but it, never know. So I don't have any kind of traffic mods or anything like that installed, so I wouldn't think that it'd be something like that.
so good. Seriously? And we get hit. And we... Yeah. I was going slow enough to get it uh, stopped in time, but obviously not. Then, of course, we're sitting there and we get rear-ended too, so I don't know if that, again, that's one of those wonky AI things, or that was just something on my part. Nonetheless, we roll on. I could have used the engine brake a little bit more because those seem to be still a little bit overpowered. Coming up along Camp Verde, Camp Verde, however you pronounce it. I just pronounce it Camp Verde. Right there, I just used the engine brake with uh, the trailer brake and got it stopped pretty easily, so. Yeah, that's what we need to do from now on. And, you know, completely miss gears and stuff, because that probably helps too. Better get some RPMs built up before I drop it into eight. Still kind of waiting to hear and see what SES has planned next for ATS. Haven't really heard at least any official announcements. And still not heard anything about additional trucks being uh, dropped for uh, DLC or anything like that. I know a lot of people in the community are getting starting to get pretty frustrated with uh, the lack of content with the game so far, at least as retained to the trucks. And I can definitely understand that, kind of right there with them. Well, I have enjoyed all three trucks so far, the 579, the 680, and of course uh, the W900, but it would be nice to get some more trucks in game. Hello, sir. in this game were pretty damn dangerous. They got a little bit better with the, the Arizona DLC, but not much.
Get some RPMs build up as we climb the overpass. And for those of you still watching and listening, uh, I want to throw something out there to you guys. Would you be interested in a live stream of maybe ATS or some other games? I don't know, something I've been kicking around for a little while. Thought about maybe streaming uh, some American Truck Sim a couple of days a week or maybe even some other games because I do play a lot more than just ATS. I've uh, got back into The Witcher 3 recently, just started replaying that. On car, thank you. Well, of course the customer expects delivery soon. They always do. Not a problem though, we're just about there. I got the grab this load, then I took my uh, ten hour break. So apparently that was supposed to be a pretty tight schedule or something. But I'm still playing the division a little bit, so I thought about maybe streaming streaming a couple games like that in addition to ATS. But uh, yeah, leave your thoughts down below if that's something you'd be interested in. So I'd probably do like a dual stream, stream it on Twitch and over on the YouTube channel. You know, I have a much, much bigger presence for my, for my own uh, content over on YouTube than Twitch. I really don't have any followers over there, so it kind of makes sense to stream on the YouTubes. I don't know. Let me guys. Let me know what you guys think about that. If that's something you'd be interested in. Too far out. We should be hitting Yuma here pretty soon. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah, we should be there pretty soon. Making me a little bit nervous. Seems like he speeds up and he kind of slows down a little bit. Dump truck up there is kind of clogging up traffic a little bit. Oh no, we are. Oh boy. Ah, what the frick, dude? Come on now. Like I said, the AI traffic's gotten just freaking nuts, at least in this episode it has. Had that day cab pull out in front of that pickup truck earlier on in the episode, and that freaking van just pulled that stunt. I was clearly in the left-hand lane going to pass him, then he just slams on his brakes and just hops right out in front of me. No way I could avoid that.
craziness, I say. Damn sure nothing's coming. The way Travis acting in this episode. Nice scenic view there. Judging by the yellow barricade up there, I think that's pretty safe to assume. I wish that's something they'd go back and do on other parts of the map. they'd go back and add in the uh, left turn signal on the stoplights in California and Nevada. Places are usually a big pain in the ass to park. So I am just going to go ahead and be a weenie. And I'm going to be in a hurry and be that guy today. Late. Well, it's because there was like 75 accidents that I didn't cause, by the way. Trailer drop where it's gonna be a pain in the butt for me to get out of here. So on that note, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up, guys. If you enjoyed, please give it a like and a share. This helps me out a bunch, helps the channel get some exposure and helps it grow. Be sure to tune in every Tuesday and Thursday when we do the Let's Play Stories from the Road series. And be sure to tune in on Wednesdays when I do some just a little gameplay footage. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting. I really do appreciate it. But until the next one, guys, take care, and we will be seeing you. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, click on the link in the description. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, click my NoScope affiliate link also down in the description. And if you want more ATS content, click on the video to check out my Stories from the Road playlist. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.